Watch you guys, the other day I showed you about Windows 11 Task Manager that keeps duplicating itself and using up precious system resources and also using up a lot of memory. So in this video, I'm going to show you a workaround that you can use to try to alleviate this problem until Microsoft uh, bring out a fix. So what I'm doing right here is opening up Task Manager and closing it. And what you'll see is in the background, this is creating a Task Manager background process which is going to be eating up all of your system memory and also your CPU. Now this is a major problem. Now there's also another issue with this update is what it does is occasionally your task manager will lock and you will not be able to do anything. And I'm going to show you a few workarounds that you can do until Microsoft release fixes for this particular problem. As you can see, all of these background processes have been created by opening and closing Task Manager. And this is a major issue. And I'm going to show you basically what you can do to fix it. Now, I've created a batch file here that uses the task kill uh, command to basically kill off all of these Task Manager background processes for you. So a quick disclaimer here, this video is for educational purposes only. This video does not promote any piracy and does not violate any copyright or break any community guidelines. And what the batch file has done is closed down all of the background processes here. And I'll show you how this works in more detail after a quick word from today's video sponsor. Today's video sponsor is CD Key Sales. Choose the product you want to use and buy. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order. Choose the change button and then paste in your key. Choose next and then click activate. And you've just now got rid of that annoying watermark and got a full version of Windows. So let's take a look at the task kill uh, command here. And you can see it's basically just at echo space off. And then we've got task kill.exe space forward slash im space task mgr.exe which is the task manager executable file. And then we have space forward slash F. So you can run this command inside of a command prompt window, which I'll just quickly show you right here. And what the batch file is doing is just saving you time from having to type this in. You can see all of them on the left hand side there. And if I type out this command task kill dot exe space forward slash im space task mgr all one word dot exe and then basically do space forward slash F. And this is going to kill off all of those tasks. As you can see right here, it's terminated every single task mgr.exe file that was running on the system. And it closed the task manager down, as you can see. So they've all been terminated. They all have a separate PID number. And of course, this means that you've just ended all of the background processes for task manager. And this is important because if you wanted to play a game, it saves you having to completely go in there and remove these one at a time. You can just use this batch file, uh, which you can create a shortcut on. So right click on the batch file, copy path, and then basically go new shortcut inside a folder somewhere on your computer. And then all you need to do here is type in the location of the item. So we're going to do CMD in this case. And then we're going to go space forward slash C. And then all you need to do is space and then paste in your actual path for your batch file. Now you can rename this to whatever you like. You can leave it as CMD if you want to, or you can call it, say, task manager, uh, clear or clean or whatever it is you want to call it. And uh, basically click finish. And there's our shortcut right there. So there, I've opened these up again and I've got a bunch of them on there. And what you can do is right click, run this as administrator, and it will end them all like so. So it's just going to save you from having to type that command out. And all one need to do here is when I type task inside the task manager, you'll see all of them background processes have been closed. And that's just using the task kill command. Now, this means that this shortcut now can be pinned to your uh, taskbar on your Windows operating system, which means you can now right click on this and run this as administrator from there. Remember, you need to run this as administrator. So let me just show you one more time from the taskbar here. I'm going to open up a couple of uh, background processes for task manager here just to show you. And then we can run this from our uh, taskbar here. You can see I've got free open right here. Now it's important that you run this as administrator. If you just click on it here, it's not going to end the task. 
you won't be able to close these background processes by just clicking on it like so. I'll show you right here. Uh, these processes are not running. So right click and then right click on this one right here and run it. And you won't get that flashing on the screen. That's just my screen recorder that's doing that. And basically it will end those background processes for you. You won't have to type anything into command prompt. It's done. And I'll leave this on the Discord server for you to download unless you want to create your own. It's very simple and easy to do. And I just wanted to point out here that if you wanted to use the end task here, make sure you go into settings and then system and then go to advanced and you can see end task right here. Make sure that's turned on. And what this is good for is if the task manager freezes at any point, then you can right click on the task manager here and click end task and it will end that task for you. Uh, this is a essential way of freeing up that system resources if task manager is locked on you. Another thing you can do is if you want to remove the update, then go into settings, then into Windows Update here, and you'll have to go into uninstall updates. Now, the reason why I've not uninstalled this update is because I was getting a lot of freezing on the screen and I was losing my task bar. I don't know why it's happening, but it, if I uninstall this update right here, which is the KB5067036, if I uninstall this, the task bar uh, will come back and I'll have issues with it. So I'd rather have the task manager opening up as duplicates rather than having the freezing that I was having on the screen uh, with this issue. Now, I just wanted to point out that uh, Jesse on our Discord server did actually post up a comment on this on the 11th of the 3rd, 2025, and I just never got round to making the video until right now. But a big thank you for Jesse for posting that up in the technology channel on our Discord server. I do appreciate it. I already knew the task kill would kill that process. But nevertheless, I do appreciate people who contribute their knowledge and share with others so it helps other people out. I never got around to making a video until now. So thank you for Jesse for posting that up. Uh, it's always helpful. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. So this is a little quick workaround until Microsoft pull their finger out and basically uh, fix this issue because it seems they fix one issue and then they break three others. So hopefully they will fix it very soon. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your support. Bye for now.